Hello everybody, this is Jean. Today I'm working on Kylie's Positivity Deck. It's the last two weeks of slowing down phase. Uh, focus and water. So here I am recording my thoughts on focus. My main thought at this time was that I need to focus on one thing at a time. So although I have lots of things going through my head and lots of plans and lots of things I need to do, Sometimes if I don't actually just start on one of them, I don't get anything done. So I wanted my card to reflect this and to remind me of this. Here I'm just applying uh, one solid colour, um, quite a nice blue, to my pre gessoed card. And then I'm using a Dina Wakeley stamp um, using uh, white acrylic paint. I want a very busy background. This is on a circles stamp. And then this is the second part of that stamp. And I'm using archival ink in black to stamp over the top of the white circles. I just want a very busy background. This is a Versamark pen and I'm using it just to uh, add the ink to one of the circles. Because I'm going to emboss this. So this is copper embossing powder, which I put on and then tap off, and then heat set it. So there's my one thing that I need to focus on. This is some stickers that I've had for a long time, so I'm using an arrow here just to point towards the one thing I need to focus on. I use my little label making machine just to write the word focus and just stick that to the card and virtually that is the card done. Um, I go around the outside of the, the word with a black fine liner and around the arrow. Just to make them stand out a bit more, I decide to put a dotted border on the outside of the card. And then I decide the arrow doesn't really show up very well, so I go over the black outlining with some white dots with a Posca pen. And so there we are, that's my very simple card on focus. The last card in this slow down phase is water, uh, which is an element. It's got lots of associations associated with the west and with autumn and with uh, sunset. And it's also associated with emotions. I'm a Pisces and I'm strangely not very fond of being in water, although I love being near water. I love being near the sea. I love being near rivers. And one of my favourite places to be is the glens on the Isle of Man. I wanted my card to remind me of the importance of emotions, um, both good and bad. So that's what the focus of my card is. So I start here with a coat of black, uh, just black acrylic paint. And then I change my mind and decide I want grey acrylic paint. So this is Payne's Grey and I'm mixing it with some just ordinary white cheap acrylic paint to make a lighter grey. And then I apply that meaning to put it all over my card but actually decide to um, just to leave the edges. We'll see that close up in a minute. Now I lost some footage here, I don't know how. I stuck on some eyes which I've cut out of the magazine. I've painted a block of pink on the left and blue on the right. Pink to represent happy emotions like joy and blue to represent unhappy emotions like sorrow. And I'm using a stencil here just to represent some teardrop shapes. And then I went online to look of how to paint teardrops and make them look realistic. 
and I, I don't know whether I've really achieved this or not. I'm really sorry about the shadows here. It's a beautiful sunny day and I just had to get this done. So you'll see the end result. What I'm doing is applying uh, white near the bottom, black near the top and then blending that and then some black underneath the white at the bottom and then putting some little highlights in with a white pasca in a minute. There's a lot of blending and it took me a long time to do this. There will be some close-ups at the end. And this is my card reminding me that all sorts of emotions are important, both happy and sad. So here are the last two cards in my slow down section. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And click the little bell to get notifications of future videos. Share if you can. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye.